Imran Khawaja from Hounslow in West London, one of the most prolific British propagandists for the so-called Islamic State. Alhamdulillah, two weeks he's back in his fight. A 27-year-old amateur bodybuilder, he travelled to Syria a year ago and, seen here in the green on the left, he spent his time encouraging other young British men to join the fighting. He called himself Abu Dagam al Britani. There was one picture which was very disturbing of him uh, holding a bag that had uh, allegedly 15 severed heads uh, inside it of Syrian army uh, soldiers. So um, that was a picture that caused a lot of consternation. He was a member of Rayat al Tawid, a propaganda group that produces slick posters and videos. But in June, the group suddenly announced his death on their Instagram account. Abu Dagam al Baratani was killed in battle a few nights ago, they wrote. It was a lie. Imran Khawaja had in fact decided to return to Britain, but to avoid the attention of the security services, he'd decided to fake his own death first. His cousin, Tahir Bati, a taxi driver from Watford, drove all the way across Europe to Bulgaria to pick him up. But although Imran Khawaja had staged his own death, he hadn't successfully covered his tracks. And as he stepped off the ferry here in Dover, he was met by counter-terrorism officers. He's now pleaded guilty to four offences, including attending a terrorist training camp and possessing a weapon for the purposes of terrorism. But it was his enthusiastic work as a PR man for Islamic State that may have done the greatest harm. These are some of the most graphic images we've uh, seen coming out of Syria. Extreme images of violence. Um, uh, executions carried out with automatic weapons um, and they've used these images to promote their warped brand of um, Islam um, and they've they've done that um, over, over a, a number of months and um, and they use it to entice others to uh, to join them in Syria and his group Rayat al Tawid is still pumping out its propaganda on social media I also invite you all over to the land of jihad. Trying to add to the estimated 600 Britons who've already travelled to Syria and Iraq to fight. Daniel Sandford, BBC News.